Thank you.
Panalangin sa Mahal na Birhen Divina Pastor. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Aba Maria, maibiging ina ng mabuting pastol na naging tao, ikaw ang nag-aruga sa kordero ng Diyos, si Heso Kristo na Diyos na totoo at tao din namang totoo, anak ng walang hanggang ama. O Maria, ikaw ang nagluwal kay Kristo at nanatili kang birhen, tunay na dalisay at kahangahangang ina ng mabuting pastol. Ipanalangin mo kami, o mahal naming ina, at ina ng mabuting pastol, ang salitang nagkatawang tao na sa iyong pamamagitan kami maging karapat dapat na magkamit ng hinihiling namin, bunsod ng pananalig. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para na sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw, patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at wag mo kaming ipaintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Aba Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, Amen. Papuri sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong unang-una, ngayon at magpakailanman at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. O Maria, Ina ng mabuting pastol, ipanalangin mo kami. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. The Veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Divina Pastora, or Mother of the Good Shepherd, traces its origin to Spain when a Capuchin priest named Fray Isidoro de Sevilla had a vision in 1703 of the Virgin Mary as a young woman with a crook or staff in her hand, and on her head a large pastoral straw hat falling over her shoulders. Happening after his contemplation on the Lord Jesus as a Good Shepherd, the vision reinforced the priest's belief in Mary's tender love and gentle care for the flock of God, to whom she was sent as a mother and guide. Mary's right hand rested on the head of a trusting lamb that symbolized the follower of Christ who was also Mary's special charge. The vision, once visually portrayed through paintings and later on through statues, quickly earned the admiration and affection of the people who made space in the churches for the Divina Pastora. A devotion grew and developed vigorously in Spain and in countries evangelized by the missionaries. Staunch devotees of the Divina Pastora are now spread all over the Spanish-speaking world. In the Philippines, this devotion to the Divina Pastora is concentrated today in just a few places, but the nexus of fervor is in the historic church of one of the earliest Philippine parishes and towns, established 1595, formerly known as Ibon but now famous as Capan City in the province of Nueva Ecija in central Luzon. In this prosperous city stands the church sanctuary that houses the revered images of Divina Pastora and the Three Kings, the titular patron of the parish. To those who seek the maternal blessings and the fruitful intercession of Mary, the mother of the flock of Christ, the shrine in Gapan City is a locus of encounter with Jesus through Mary. All over the central plains of Luzon, people with physical, emotional, financial, and spiritual cares 
draw close to the comforting presence of the Mother of God, who shares with her Divine Son a special solicitude for the needs of all the members of the Christian flock. The original image of the Divina Pastora, cherished by the people of Gapan, of all Nova Isihanos, and devotees from elsewhere, is a one and a half meter wooden image whose provenance is depicted in two versions. The first of these recalls the arrival of an Augustinian friar bearing the image and entrusting it to the town's parish church. The image was at times missing or had been lost from the church, but soon re-emerged among a Kalios tree abundant in the area. Another version, supported by recollections of present-day heirs of the Valmonte family, tells of their clan's special connection with the Blessed Virgin. A certain Juana de la Cruz of Valmonte had a perplexing dream of the Virgin Mary, and upon counsel of her father, she approached an Augustinian friar in Intermuros for its interpretation. The priest readily surmised that the Blessed Mother wanted the woman to obtain an image of the Divina Pastora from Spain. Another version narrates that the priest, impressed by Juana's faith, himself gifted her with the wooden image of the Divina Pastora. The image occupied a privileged place in the Valmontes family's domestic altar where they experienced the powerful protection and efficacious intercession of the Blessed Virgin. The people of Nueva Ecija were agrarian folks. The Valmontes beseeched Our Lady for bountiful harvest, and they witnessed their intentions fulfilled. They came to her for many other petitions, and the Divina Pastora never failed to manifest her miraculous touch. It was then that the family celebrated the beneficence of the Divina Pastora with a yearly fiesta in her honor on the 1st of May, the last day of the harvest season, happily coinciding with the start of the Marian month and later the feast of the Saint Joseph the Worker. Family, friends, neighbors and devotees from near and far flocked to Gapan to join in the festivities. Having heard of the marvels of God through the Divina Pastora, people came in droves in an outpouring of affection and tenderness to their shepherdess and mother. Thus, the family thanksgiving feast gave way to a church and town fiesta where the diminutive image of the Virgin assumed a central role in the merriment and pious expressions. From the family altar, the image was carried in procession through the streets of the town and enshrined temporarily in the main church for the sacraments and devotional prayers. The Augustinian clerics embraced the growing religiosity that evolved around the image, her miracles and her influence on the increasing number of devotees. The town officials exulted in the opportunity to offer people the chance to revel in their newfound spirit of faith solidarity, and communion. Many years later, the original image owned by the Valmontes has been officially donated to the church. From the family altar, the Virgin Mary descended into the streets of the town, inviting her flock to herself and to her son, and made her way into an exalted and secure niche within the hallowed space of the local parish church and in the hearts of the people farming and fishing villages of the whole of the Central Plains. As people flocked to the place of Mary's famed miracles, the pilgrimages enlisted the quiet town among the faith's most desired destinations. The unique Filipino piety growing around the Marian image of the Divina Pastora soon became ready for international recognition and acclaim. In 1964, the Holy Father, Pope Paul VI, bestowed on the image his pontifical approval by mandating the canonical coronation of the Divina Pastora. This happened on April 26 of that year. The worldwide church gazed admiringly and lovingly on the Divina Pastora 
de Caban. As Bishop Mariano Gaviola put the crown on the head of the Virgin, two images, one church owned and the privately owned of the Valmontes, both honored, the people's exuberance and reverence contributed to the solemnity of the occasion. The simple dream of Juana Valmonte became the realization of the people's religious aspirations and sentiments. The plain prayers of petition and praise at the foot of a family altar metamorphosed into the solemn proclamation of the Divina Pastora's extended patronage to the entire Diocese of Cabanatuan and to the whole province of Nueva Ecija. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines in 1986 elevated the simple sanctuary of the Divina Pastora in the Three Kings Parish in Capan City into a National Shrine of Mary through a moving ceremony presided over by the great Filipino Cardinal of Cebu, Ricardo Vidal. This affirmed further the effects of the Divina Pastora devotion that the doors of the church in Capan are flung open to the entire Filipino nation. From there, the Divina Pastora truly lives among her children. She walks in the midst of the Lord's pasture land, guiding the flock to green meadows. As mother of the Good Shepherd, she knows each of the sheep by name, and the lambs run to her for solace and peace. The sheep know Mary's voice in the same way that they recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd, Jesus, the center of all hearts. The sheep listen to Mary and follow her as she says to them in turn, do whatever he tells you.
In the name of the clergy of the Diocese of Cabaratuan, together with religious men and women and the Diocesan Council of the Lady, I invite you all to join us in the 22nd Healing Rosary for the World. This particular devotion is indeed a very helpful one to help each one of us to be ever conscious of the blessing that the Lord offers us, the blessing that provides us healing and the courage to be able to face this pandemic. It invites each one of us to be involved, to become instruments of the Lord in bringing about healing in whatever way we can. And one very valuable act that we can do would be to pray for one another, trusting that in God alone can come the grace of healing that we hope for. And it's this kind of prayer that will involve each one of us to be ever attentive in responding to this pandemic, the pandemic of COVID-19. And furthermore, this particular devotion also opens our eyes to be mindful of what's happening in the world today. There is such a thing as we call the pandemic of COVID-19, but there is also this pandemic of craft and corruption, the greed, the materialism. And when we turn to our Blessed Mother, who desires to bring us closer to her son, he provides us, her son will provide us that courage to continue becoming that light, to steer in the hearts of our, of our faithful, that hope in the Lord, so that we may be involved in responding to this challenge that we do everything that we can to combat this pandemic of COVID-19 and the pandemic of materialism, secularism, greed, and corruption. We trust that each one of us being given by the Lord can continue to help one another. It is my fervent prayer that together we turn to the Lord, gaze on the cross to which our Blessed Mother brings us closer to her Son. We pray that each one of us our families, the society in which we belong to, and the world in which we live. It is my fervent prayer that together we may be able to respond to this challenge that is before us. Let us not be discouraged. Draw strength and inspiration from Blessed Mother, who desires only one thing, that we be brought closer to her Son. Together, we can accomplish the will of the Lord for His people and for our world. Thank you, and let's continue to be faithful in, in following our Blessed Mother. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary. He suffered Father under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. For the increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginnings, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries The First Glorious Mystery, The Resurrection From the Gospel of Luke While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? Of baked fish, he took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. We offer this mystery for the sick, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. May they be brought to health once again and be consoled by the care of our Lord Jesus. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. save, us, save from us from the fires, fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls to heaven, to heaven especially, especially those who are in most in need, need of, thy, of mercy. thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. From the Acts of the Apostles. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front line. Medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharmacy staff, supermarket employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and in our government. May they be strengthened and inspired by the Holy Spirit in their selfless act of service. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. From the Acts of the Apostles, when the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. We offer this mystery for the countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. May the Lord rescue us from this disease and lead us to full recovery. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins save, save us from, us from the, the fires, fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in most need of thy, thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. From the Gospel of Luke, And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. We offer this mystery for our families and loved ones. May the Lord Jesus protect us from all disease, danger, and harm. May the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us in this moment of crisis to open our hearts in charity and solidarity with our brothers and sisters, especially the poor. Our Father in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. From the book of Revelation, a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. We offer this mystery for the souls of the faithful departed, especially those who have passed away 
because of this virus. We also include those who have died because of the massive explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. May our loving Father welcome them to the eternal home prepared for them. May Our Lady console their families who are suffering from their loss at this moment. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. Save, us save us from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. mercy. Let us stand and let us sing Salve Regina. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Dulce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii heve. A te suspiramus, cementes at
pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech Thee, that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem in transmission, protect the medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those whom have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore to you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in your necessities, but deliver us always from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo the Wise, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. I bring you warm greetings from the National Shrine of La Virgen Divina Pastora here in Gapan City, Nueva Ecija. We would like to thank all of you who prayed with us at this healing rosary for the world, especially the different religious communities and families, and all those connecting with us by live stream. Your virtual presence is very much appreciated. We want to thank in particular the Manila Cathedral for inviting us to host the Healing Rosary for the World. To the Rector, Reverend Father Reggie Malikdem, and to Reverend Kali Yamado, to their staff, please know our gratitude. The worldwide crisis that the world undergoes today has enveloped each of our hearts with fear and helplessness. It has gripped the nations of the world, from the poorest to the most powerful. With a sense of insecurity and confusion, in a word, this pandemic has revealed the greatest lie we tell ourselves that we are invincible and in control, that we are self-sufficient and formidable, that we are relevant and eternal. This realization, although acknowledged with much pain and humility, leads us today to seek answers, to explore solutions, and to discover remedies with a reference to a greater power, a wiser counsel, and a stronger hope. Our shared crisis now leads us to the Lord. 
All over the world, we are now more than ever united in a spirit of prayer for deliverance, for endurance, and for strength. Let us imagine that as we pray the Holy Rosary, we are in the same boat as the apostles plying the stormy seas. In the midst of our prayer, Jesus comes to us, walking through the tempest and telling us with confidence, It is I, do not be afraid. What is lacking in our efforts, He will supply. What is missing in our focus, He will direct. What is weak in our approach, He will fortify. Jesus, the master of the impossible, will take us by the hand and lead us out of darkness into light, out of sickness into health, and out of agony into glory. In His wisdom, God allows His children to struggle amidst trials. In His mercy, the Lord accompanies and protects His people who call upon Him in trust and surrender. May the Virgin Mary, under her revered title, La Virgen Divina Pastora, gather us under the cover of her solicitude and bring us to fix our eyes on her Divine Son, the Good and Humble Shepherd of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. And give Him thanks.